Atlanta police out in full force breaking up a protest in downtown Atlanta. Dozens of people gathering tonight demanding justice for a Wisconsin man shot by police. Protests for Jacob Blake are now popping up all across the nation. 11 Alive's Hope Ford is live downtown Atlanta with us for the story. So the uh, the protest started around 8, 830 out here in uh, in Woodruff Park uh, in, in the downtown area and, and everything w was calm. Every, everyone was, you know, out here. They were chanting. Uh, then the group about 100, 150 people started to march down towards Centennial Olympic Park. And at some point in time, for some reason that we're, we're still not clear on yet, uh, one man who was on a bicycle was arrested. Uh, he, he was uh, they were crossing the street with some of the other protesters. He was arrested. Uh, we weren't sure the reason why there uh, then those protesters started to move uh, again a little bit further down started setting up a steel barricade starting taking large pieces of steel and placing those in the roadway uh, police showed up at that point uh, saying that they were illegally blocking the road they were blocking it for a couple of minutes and that's when uh, the, we saw fireworks being fired from it looked like on the the demonstrator side and and that's when uh, police started firing you know, flashbangs and tear gas in that direction to war to try to break up that group uh, then those two groups they 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 broke up into, into smaller groups, started marching really um, around the area of Centennial and Woodruff Park. And uh, that's when another round of tear gas was fired out at, at protesters. And then we, we heard a lot from the police who, who were on their loudspeakers, you know, being uh, very firm with people telling them you have to stay out of the road. If you step, you know, really a foot into the road, you are going to be arrested. And that's what we saw a little bit later on uh, as some of the demonstrators were heading back towards Woodruff Park. Uh, there were two uh, men who jumped out and or who stepped out into the road and almost immediately police uh, were, were chasing them down and arrested at least one of them. Uh, they did uh, end up pulling a gun from the waistband of that person uh, as he was being arrested. And then um, they, they did say that they were charging him only with a pedestrian in the roadway. Of course, those protests uh, originally were for Jacob Blake, the Wisconsin man who was shot seven times in the back uh, in Wisconsin. And so that's why those protesters were out here originally. But really in a short span of time, within an hour, it went from uh, people marching and chanting and then to uh, some of those arrests that we saw later on. All right, Hope for reporting live for us tonight. Thank you, Hope. We see that scene was really intense and it ended quickly. Much different than protests that we saw earlier in the summer. We're going to have updates on Blake's recovery and actions from his legal team coming up on Uplate in just a few minutes.